Good evening guys, welcome to another video. Tonight I decided to show you the parts once again from my previous video. Uh, I'm going to start this build uh, very shortly and uh, but first I want to show you uh, the parts once again. So we do have right there the motherboard, the GA6VX, we do have the uh, uh, creative uh, sound card, we do have the uh, old modem that was uh, that I used back in the day and I'm going to show you right now this is uh, the modem that uh, was present back in the day and uh, of course it's in fully working condition but I don't have in my house this type of uh, connection for the dial-up or the fax of course you'll be uh, any provider will give you the this kind of type of connection the old connection but unfortunately I don't have it anymore so I'm not going to be able to use it. So, if you want to go to the internet, of course, this will not be possible. But I include it anyway, so you can see. Uh, we do have the Creative, the sound card. This is 4.1, uh, made by Creative. This is a very nice video card. I, uh, I do remember that in many builds, there were CT4810 uh, sound cards and uh, they were very nice very crisp uh, the guys were always listening to this music and they're playing games uh, very often so yeah very nice the video card that i was telling you about the voodoo 2 2000 i'm very happy that i can test this uh, this one of course there are two types of connection in order to benefit the use of this uh, video card uh, what I mean by that is, uh, if you're having uh, two, two, uh, the two video cards like this one, the Voodoo 2 2000, in order to use it properly, of course you, you'd be needing uh, a cable that is going right here. Uh, so the first end will go to the first uh, video card and the other end to the second Voodoo 2 2000 from 3D, 3D Fix. But in my case, I'm not going to be able to use two video cards because I don't have these kind of things. And uh, I'm going to use uh, only this cable. So the first one will be entering into the first end of the, uh, the accelerator. And the other will be using the PCI standard. We'll, uh, we'll be going into the PCI standard part. And uh, afterwards I'm going to get the signal uh, from the Voodoo 2 2000 in order to use the, the accelerator. Yeah, so what is uh, not right in this build is the fact that I don't have a case and I'm using the the AGP instead of the PCI standard. So in order to use the Voodoo 2 2000, uh, you need the PCI standard. So I'm going to have to see what I can do with the PCI standard. I'm also not sure about the DVD burner and the... Uh, hard drive, the Western Digital, the Caviar. Uh, this one here has uh, 4, 4.3 gigabyte. And I'm not sure if it's still in fully working condition or not. And the fact that the the video card, the uh, not the video, pardon, the DVD burner is working properly or not, the Samsung. Uh, this is, uh, if you remember in my previous video, I'll show you how I uh, Try to fix to fix her up, and uh, uh, there was no go for this one. Yeah. So I think I'm going to I'm going to use uh, uh, the other optical drive from my uh, Celeron on the pen or the pen four computer. So see you very shortly when I'll be starting uh, the build of this machine. And yeah, see you then, guys.
know guys, just a quick look before I'm starting the games on this machine. I just want to inform you about something else. This motherboard was uh, was uh, using the uh, uh, the, another mul the multiplier, so it was uh, multiplying by four. So if you focus here, the four will be. Let me show you. The four will be on, on, off, on. So in our cases, I have to use on, off, and three, four, on and on. So right here the multiplier is just like I show you on off and for the one two three four on and four on of course for the click for the clock ratio and of course I have to move another jumper uh, the GP6 the latest that is here right here is uh, I have to move it to two three two three instead of one two so it's shown right here. The bus speed for the GP uh, is the uh, two three, so is is this one two three. So if I move it down, of course you'd be uh, using the one hundred bus speed. You see sixty six one two one two. So everything is set. So in order, to, so you give us right now the from the clock ratio that I done three hundred thirty six megahertz. Now there was another problem with the uh, optical drive that I couldn't read the uh, disk anymore. So what I ended up with is the uh, broken cable that is not working anymore. I'm not sure why. I had to use my uh, the other cable uh, 8833 from my Celeron. Uh, the memory module that I was telling you about in the video is not detected at all. Of, although he's using the memory Samsung, Samsung and uh, doesn't seem to be affected in any way, but of course it's not working. And the optical drive that is, uh, uh, it doesn't read anything. So I struggle trying to, uh, trying to adjust the lens of, of the laser, but unfortunately with, with no, no success. So my advice, when you actually buying this, try Try to test it out first before buying it. So the Windows 98, uh, it looks fine. So I'm going to show you once again. So right now is using instead of uh, 256, 160 megabyte of RAM and 336 megahertz. And there is, of course, the uh, CPU fan that is uh, cooling down the memory and, uh, yeah. So the next uh, thing will be to try out the, uh, the games and uh, installing the video card drivers for the Voodoo 2 2000 and uh, for the Creative 4.1. And, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. Thank you for watching and see you very shortly, guys. Bye.